Oh, baby. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you for downloading the podcast. Happy Turkey Day, or at least Turkey Week. Larry here. And Anthony here. What's going on, Ant? Not much, you know. We, Turkey Day is upon us in a few days, <laughs> and, uh, you know, looking forward to uh, enjoying that. Yes, gobble, gobble. That's what gobble, yeah, there, there will be a lot of gobbling, that is true. <laughs> a lot of gobbling of food. Yes, and unfortunately, it's going to be a lot. When I, in my, at least when my family gets together, we uh, we usually tend to overdo it on the hors d'oeuvres. Uh, then by the time we get to Turkey, it's like, oh, I'm full. <laughs> I think I think that's pretty much what everybody goes through, and then uh, you find a way to stuff yourself the same way you stuff the damn bird. So <laughs> pretty much, and you do all that cooking like ten hours of cooking for like seven minutes of meal, <laughs> or at least maybe yeah, because I, well, well, yeah, because everybody's sitting there drooling, waiting to eat. So when <laughs> it's finally served, you just all chow down like maniacs. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. So. um Busy week. No, nah, not really too busy. We're going to get into some headache that we, we approach. I just want to touch on real quick. I don't know if you've downloaded it yet um, the, or bought it. The, those Atari games we talked about the other week? The other uh, I have not, uh, yeah, I have not had a chance to purchase them yet. Okay. I've been... I've been I've been a little bit d- distracted. Yeah, fair enough. With, uh, with work and other things. <laughs> well, uh, I, but yeah. it's on my list. Yeah, I actually, purchase. they're cool. I bought them. I got them on the Xbox One. Uh, the Atari Flashbacks. Uh, volumes one, volume two, very fun, and it really immediately brings you back to mm-hmm. to the day. Because real quick, and then we'll move on. What happens is when you start the game up, not they have a section with the uh, um, uh, arcade versions. Then when you get like to the cart versions, like a little like a like a virtual um, Atari uh, twenty six hundred, maybe. Yeah, I don't think yep. 7200. Comes up, and then all the different toggle switches, and you forget that some of these games have like 20-something versions of the game, and you're toggling oh, wow. through. I forgot what game I was playing. I was just kind of just futzing around with it. So, like, I wanted to get to player one, but I hit the toggle, so I'm like, all right, let me, like, circle back around. I literally had to toggle through, like, 26 different versions of the game, accidentally got past the first one I wanted, and had to circle around again. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> That well, I, don't, I, I don't miss I, that. I'm I'm looking forward to that frustrating. Experience. Yeah, no, that was fun. But it is multiplayer, uh, two player uh, Xbox Live well, multiplayer. So we'll get into that. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. In fact, I think I may just wait until Black Friday because right. who knows? I may grab it on sale. Might as well. Instead of yeah, at this point, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I paid full price, but yeah, no, that'll work out. Black Friday. And speaking of Black Friday, that's probably the only time that you'll even try and be able to get an NES Classic Edition. Uh, don't uh, hold your breath on that one. <laughs> it's, it, it got released um, last... Where are we? What's today? Today's the 21st. It was um, released on the 11th. 11th, yeah. And 11th of November. We, we're going to get into it in a second, but I only know one person who was able to get it, and they had to wait online at a Best Buy an hour before the store opened. Online was... Forget about it. It was useless. Yeah. Yeah, I'm officially regretting the fact that I had to work that day <laughs> because every place I called, they were like, oh, yeah, we had a line out the door like an hour before opening. You had to be here. And I'm like, I'm like, really? The demand is that high for this? And lo and behold, it's not who that- knew that uh, a retro console could be so popular? It, 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 it's not. I mean, the demand was high, but I mean, come on, Nintendo. I mean, you had to have known that this was going to sell out. I mean, I can understand. I mean. I mean, they ridiculously shortchanged it. Um, friend of mine, she, what happened? Uh, Best Buy out here on Long Island. She got online like nine o'clock. Store opened at ten. She was twenty eighth person online, and they didn't get that far past her um, when they were letting people in to buy the NES Classic Edition. She had to get a ticket for it, and it was just, I mean, annoying. <laughs> Well, I think what I think what may have just happened, and and to be honest with you, I don't know if it was necessarily um, uh, accidental. I honestly think it just maybe you know they may have done this on purpose. Oh, but just totally the fact that yeah. yeah, I mean you create a demand for it, so with that when you do finally let out the mass quantities, everybody runs and purchases them. Um, the demand right now is so high that I saw you know prices on eBay like up to like a thousand bucks. I saw one yesterday. Five thousand dollars. Five five thousand dollars. Didn't say it was at any bids, but the guy was trying to sell for five grand on eBay. I can travel to Japan and buy a mini Famicom for less than that. <laughs> Which, Meanwhile, by the way, I think I'm going to go on the record and say that uh, 
I will have a mini Famicom probably before I get a mini NES at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. It's it's ridiculous. This whole thing um and um what happened was kind of to, to so I'm here in New York and it went on it went on sale 2 p.m. Uh, um, uh, Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. So for me, it went on sale five o'clock after work. For Anthony, it went on sale two o'clock during work. Correct. And, uh, so I, I was right. In, I was I was right in front of my computer. Yeah, pretty much. And and you know, and I remember because you call you texted me. We were texting back and forth because you figure if two people are going to get this stupid thing, it might as well be us. But uh, since Nintendo apparently doesn't listen to the show, we didn't get any for free, so we tried our best to buy them. And um, I tried. Here's the thing: I I didn't bother going in person. I there were a couple stores, Game Stops in the mall by me. They were like, you know, you show up 10 a.m. or, or like an hour before. You know, they'll we'll sell them then. I'm like, uh, I'll try online. So I tried Amazon, and God help me, five o'clock on the dot, trying to. Choose my words here. The stupid website just crashed. I mean, absolutely fell apart. Oh no! Same <laughs> thing happened on my end. I, I literally like as soon as I hit the refresh button at two o'clock, the site crashed. I got the I got the little site crash line, and I went back and did it again and did it again, and then eventually it was sold out. I sold- I mean I remember like I was refreshing like five two, and it refreshed, 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 and then just stopped. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, at one point I almost had it in. I had it in. My uh, my cart, but then it crashed and then I lost it. it. It was very frustrating trying to get this thing. Meanwhile, my cousin, she goes on like 10.30 a.m. She's like, ah, let me try Toys R Us dot com. Yeah, she she was able to order one at like 10.30 in the morning. But Today? she tell No, 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 no. I mean, uh, on the 11th. On th- on the 11th. But of course... I learned about this, you know, when I went over to their house at like six o'clock at night. I'm like, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you for showing me your your um, your order is complete. <laughs> so I've been checking Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, and Walmart. We'll talk about in a second, but it is just, I mean, it 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 sold out quick. Uh, there's no well, mincing you know what? Words. I mean, Nintendo's got a hit on their hands for the holidays. But how they not know is going to be a hit? I mean, I don't. Uh... Uh, unless something's going on with how this thing gets mass produced that they can't, you know, push them out that quickly. But supposedly there was a picture online of some store out in Malaysia or somewhere that has like 120 of them in stock, but no one can afford to buy it. So I mean, you know, because, where are they shipping? Well, how to? much is it? Well, it's 60 bucks, but I guess wherever it is locally, it's going to be whatever that price is. But um, it was some, I think it was some third world country. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it, it just it was tons of them. And I guess no one could buy them, so I don't know. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> but, um, well, I guess um, it's a mute point at this point, because by the time you listen to the show, uh, it's going to be over. But this week, or the past week, however you want to look at it, we're recording this before. Shocking. Um, Walmart was releasing little bits of them each day until the 18th, which, again, go on sale 2 p.m., uh, California time, 5 p.m. New York time, and we tried it. Me and you, we we tried it on Walmart. Um, had a little more success through the app, but of course, then it was in the cart. App crashed. It was out. Failed miserably. Pretty we much. both failed miserably. Oh, it was oh so annoying. But yeah. that's the way the cookie crumbles. And I was going to. I even mentioned it before. I was like, I already own half the games. Literally half the games on. Uh, virtual console. I'm like, you know what? I'll just buy the rest of them. But when I finally did the math and the tax, it would have been like yep. ninety something dollars more. So I will wait till I get an NES Classic Edition, and hopefully Santa Claus downloaded this episode is listening and will drop one off of me. <laughs> yes. Well, and you also got to keep in mind that um, as uh, one half of the retro gamers, it's, it's your sworn duty to own this thing. The I, same way, it's mine as well. <laughs> Damn it! I'll get it. I mean, yeah. I'll. Who am I kidding? I'll, of course, I'm gonna Look, get it. I'm doing the harder work. I'm f- I'm gonna fly all the way to Japan. Well, we flipped the coin. Mini, two, just to pick up too many <laughs> Famicoms for us. We flipped the coin. You lost, and you have to fly to Japan. You knew what the rules. I lost. You knew the rules going in. Oh my god! I am I am I will happily go to Japan and pick those up. So speaking of the, let's go back really quick to the mini the mini NAS because on the Facebook page. 
a uh, friend of mine, uh, Harry, Harry uh, Warner, hopefully a listener to the show, um, he posted up a picture and and to rub it in my yes, face, most did. likely, yes, of it and unboxed. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, of it unboxed um, NES Classic Edition, and it's it's tiny. You kind of forget how tiny it's going to be. Uh, really, not much to it. No, it, it doesn't. It pretty much like fit in your hand. Pretty much. That that's it. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean. And it's a it's a given at this point too. Like everybody knows, like the uh, the controllers are so the the cables are so short. You have to buy extenders. I was gonna. I was just about to mention that. You're right. That's an automatic. It's only a two foot cable on the controller. And then I've only seen six foot extenders. So you get a max of eight feet, which shouldn't be too bad nowadays. But I'm no, trying to re- HP should be enough. I, I'm trying to remember. I mean, uh, like the way you used to have your system set up and your TV set up. I mean, did we used to sit far from the screen? Like, I'm trying to remember. Well, dude, you guys got to remember like, when we, you know, when uh, we were growing up, uh, the bedroom I had was not even eight feet wide. Maybe I a think. closet? <laughs> yeah, the closet that, <laughs> that I That really lived was in. tiny. Yeah, is that? Oh, my right, God. I had, I had two sisters that had to share the big room, so I had the freaking closet. So, like, my bed was, like, six inches away from the television screen. I, th- this, con- this console would be perfect for... You know, thirteen year old me. Oh my god, I forgot that room. Yes. Oh yeah, cow. that that tiny little uh, room. But I did have. I remember later on, I got extenders. I got what, well, like more like for the like the N sixty four. I feel like because as time went on and as tech, excuse me, technology grew and everything, I guess we started sitting further and further from the TV until they came out with the wireless controllers. So I remember I ended up using like PS one and 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 uh, N sixty four. I remember having to buy the extenders. Yeah, especially um, – and I remember for N64 specifically, I did buy extenders for those because, yeah, you you wanted to sit uh, further away if you could Yeah, uh, because TV started getting bigger. That's pretty much it. And the other thing that kind of annoys me from what I read because obviously I can't tell you firsthand, like when you want to go and save – because you can save all the games. You have all in-game saves and everything. But you got to get up and hit the reset button on the – and yes, Classic Edition, that's what prompts up the menu to save the game. As far as I know, you don't do it from the controller. Uh, well, you know, I mean, that's just a good old-fashioned way of how you used to do it. <laughs> yes, it was annoying. Nintendo's, ju- Nintendo's just trying to bring back every little annoyance about their original system. Yeah, but you got to remember also, like, when, when their system came out, you know, the first time around, I mean, it didn't matter. This was, like, the coolest thing ever. Oh, this was the coolest video game system ever. So you didn't care that you had to get up and hit the reset button a thousand times. And trust me, I got up and hit that reset button a thousand times, especially <laughs> when I was playing Contra and I couldn't get the code in in time or I got the code <laughs> in wrong. It's like, oops, I only have three lives. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was um, yeah, very frustrating. But eventually we'll, we'll get to the uh... – oh, speaking of the, the, the Famicom, you know, all joking aside, we should really – Make sure that HDMI is compatible here in the U.S. compared to Japan. Oh, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna own them anyway. Oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> and with that, whether being... they work, whether they work or not, I, I I will bring back two Japanese televisions as well. <laughs> nice, sweet. Can't the wait. Yen. Can't wait to get those through customs. The yen will go far. Um, do you remember? I mean, this like was there in the past pre-orders and stuff that you that was this cumbersome? For you? Oh, God. Pre-orders that were this much of a headache. That's a good question. Like me, I, I mean, I, I'll i be honest. I got a lot of my stuff, like, during Christmas. Um, so I, you know, I had to wait. And then when I got to college, I just pre-ordered everything anyway and, and waited for it to get shipped. But um, there was a couple of games that I really wanted that I had to wait for, which I'll get into in a moment. But, like, actual pre-orders, like any... Horror stories? No, you know, I mean, when I was a when I was a kid, I mean, we really the pre-orders weren't a thing, really. I mean, your parents, or at least my parents at that point, um, they would go out and buy them, you know, if yeah, I really wanted right. it, or if it was like a bir- it was a birthday or a Christmas thing. But like, they knew they would have to go to the store day of if they wanted to get it for me for like Christmas or birthday or something like that. So it was like one of those obnoxious things that you know. Um, we don't experience today because of, you know, the internet and Amazon and all that stuff where you can just put the money down on a pre-order and you're done. You can do that any day you want. I was like, back then, it was either you went to a local store who knew you um, and you did a pre-order where basically, you know, you you reserved it and they held it for you um, or you 
just got in line day of and you waited however long you had to wait for it uh, until you got one. Um, I remember <laughs> the one story I do remember. It's not video game related, but I, I do have to tell it because oh, yeah. it, it's it's funny. <laughs> um, I, and I have video game ones, but it's more for me when I was an adult, you know, when I was buying them myself. But I remember when we were kids, um, my sister was a huge New Kids on the Block fan. And they had come out with this New Kids on the Block um, – uh, stencil set <laughs> so okay. you know like it was one of those things where um, it was like you chose the plates of the clothes you wanted them to wear and then you put a piece of paper over it and you used like tr- like a black <laughs> oh you kind of okay yeah 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 to sketch you know to sketch out the yeah. outfit and then you would color it in and I remember Chris, you know this we were Christmas shopping of course at the time and my mom couldn't find this thing anywhere and um, she had finally found it at a KB toy store. Wow, um, KB. <laughs> right. It was a KB toy store, and she found one hiding on a shelf, like, behind mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, something. So she wrestled it away from some other mother. I remember her finding <laughs> some, uh, <laughs> some other mother for it, and she won. I was like, And then she looked at it, and I remember her looking at the price. And it, I don't remember what the price was, but she thought it was too expensive. So she took um, – she took a pr- a cheaper price off of another toy because this is before you know Scan- you yeah scanning pos bar- sales, yeah, yeah before you're scanning barcodes and stuff so she took uh, she took a price tag off of another toy that was cheaper and put it on oh this new kids on the block God. toy that's I think that's a felony <laughs> well wait 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 I'm not done yet <laughs> it was an employee in the aisle who saw her do no! it no <laughs> so when she went to, so when she went to go pay for it. They kicked us out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> the whole fan, all of you got kicked out all at once and never to be returned again. No, it was just the two of us. But oh still, I mean, I just, I just remember that because that it was so hysterical. funny. And then I remember also, I also remember my mom trying to tell me to go back in the store and buy it because she's <laughs> like, oh, you know, the employee didn't see it. And I was like, I wasn't going back in there. I was like maybe like 10 years old. I'm like, no. Was that in the mall? <laughs> the, only, the only KB I knew was in the mall. Yeah, that's where we were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is but fantastic. Not video game related, but a great story. Very funny. Very funny. Oh, my God. Well, I remember my mother, and this I know I told before. I'm um, sure always hates when I tell the story, so I'll tell it anyway. Um, Toys R Us back back in the day when you had to pick up the um, at least at our Toys R Us in Brooklyn, pick up the slips, pick up yeah, and then you you brought the slip to the to the counter, you buy it there, you go to the back of the store that had like a cage with all the NES games, and yep. um, I remember WrestleMania, the original WrestleMania game came out, so they had it, picked it up, my parents bought it, I ran, me and a buddy of mine, we ran up to the back. Uh, sold out. All right. You know, you put almost like on layaway or something like that. You come back next week. Uh, and as I'm sitting there just looking at all the boxes, I saw a copy of WrestleMania just sitting there. Not like it, it was kind of like sitting on top of everything. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm banging on the window. I'm like, hey, Mr. Mr. You know, the, the guy working there was probably 16. You know, I was like eight. Um, so I'm like, hey, you know, Mr. Mister, um, you know, there's the game. There's the game. I have a receipt for it. It's like, oh, okay. So he grabs it. I'm looking at my friend. We're going to get to play this tonight. Um, and he goes, brings it, and gives it to somebody else. So I wow. do what anyone else in their right mind would do. I would cry. And I cried uncontrollably in, in <laughs> Toys R Us. Um, so my mother, of course, saw this. And um, about two or three days later, I come home from school. Sitting on top of the TV is a copy of WrestleMania. So she got it. Mom came through. Only years later did I find out that she um, complained to the store, complained to the manager. Uh, I think, and I'm 100% serious when I say, I believe got the game for free or got some sort of partial refund and got the kid fired. Nice. (laughs) So... All because you cried. That's it. Listen, only child. That's what happens. You don't mess with some lady's kid <laughs> who wow. can't who can't control himself. Well, but you know, going back to the whole slip nonsense, I remember like all the time, like when games I wanted the slip when the slip thing would be empty. You know, yeah. everybody assumed they were sold out. Yep. You always had to go and ask anyway because because of the system that was set up. Sometimes somebody would take a slip and then they wouldn't buy it and the slip wouldn't get returned. So you always had to go to the cage and you know the yeah. guy, the the storeroom and have them look because. Mm-hmm. 
there were a handful of games that I remember I would tell my mom. I was like, well, ask him, ask him, ask him. And they would produce a game even though they said it was sold out. It would happen all the time. Um, but going to like the um, you know games that I – couldn't wait for and i've told this story before also but um wwf raw for super nintendo um when that came out i mean i you know i mean it, it, i was way past the santa claus is real thing and all that whoa stuff, whoa obviously. whoa whoa but, no, sh- oh shut up um so <laughs> but um the whole uh you know i needed a hat I, I needed it and i needed it before christmas and i wanted to play it and and i remember seeing it in her closet because she wasn't exactly <laughs> she wasn't exactly very wise in terms of how <laughs> hid our mm-hmm. christmas gifts so mm-hmm. all you had to do was open her closet door and that like all the toys r us bags were sitting in the, you know <laughs> on the bottom there and it's like um and i knew raw was in there so it was like december 4th and i went down to her and i'm like i know you bought me wwf raw <laughs> i know you're supposed to give it to me for christmas but i want it now i want to play it all month and 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 she just looked at me and she's like, I didn't buy it. I said, yes, you did. I saw it in the bag <laughs> in your room. Oh, my God. And, and she got all mad that I looked. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, I was like, well, next time hide it better. You know, I'm like, I, but, <laughs> you know, long story, long story short, she, she gave it to me on December 4th. And I told her, I said, look, I go, I will be playing this thing every single day until Christmas and through Christmas <laughs> um, because, you know, I really wanted to play it. Um, and I... I held to that. I played that game every day for the month of December and beyond because it was at that point the definitive wrestling pressured game. Pressured her. Oh my god. Oh, I totally I... pressured her. And, and, and I remember her telling me, she's like, "Well, don't get mad if you get less gifts under the tree. <laughs> one less, one less gift." And I'm like, "I don't care." I was like, "I just want to, you know, enjoy my video game." <laughs> Meanwhile, there you are. You you sneak. You find the Christmas presents. You demand the present. Meanwhile. I accidentally saw my mom wrap a Sega CD, and I was mortified because I was afraid for her to know that I knew, because then I figured I wouldn't get it. I don't know how that worked, but I figured if I saw them wrapping it, I would not get the gift. And I well, remember I ran you, downstairs. At least, mom, <laughs> at least your mom made the effort to wrap it. All of mine were just, they were just sitting there completely unwrapped. I'm like, well... Now I know what I'm getting. And then I remember I went back down. I went downstairs with my dad, and he's like, "Why'd you come back down here?" Because we had you know basement. That was kind of like the the living room. I'm like, yeah. oh, "I just want to hang out with you." Uh, so, and I remember like I went back upstairs. My mom she kind of shot me this look like, "I think I just saw you up here." Like, were you up here? And then, uh, well, I'll tell the story because I'm sure we'll talk about it more come Christmas. So I'll leave you a cliffhanger on that one. But I remember I saw it, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm getting a second CD." And I'm like, "Oh no, she can't see me." <laughs> They're running back downstairs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man. But, uh, but but yeah. So like I, I, Raw, I think was maybe the first one that I personally remember. Um, you know, having to get my hands on it like the second it yeah. was in my home. I remember um, not necessarily having to get it the second, but knowing. I guess it's the first time. When I was able to start buying stuff on my own, you know, I had my own money, uh, and I had like control of when I get a game and when I buy yep. stuff. It was Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. So mm-hmm. I was in college. It was the first. I had just gotten a pre-approved credit card not a month earlier, like a five hundred dollar limit on it. And I remember the original, like the first run of Zelda Ocarina of Time games were gold carts, like yep. the original Zelda and Zelda 2. So I'm like, I, I you know, I, I want to get this. So I got the, the, the credit card like a month before. And, um, you know, I'm 18 years old with a credit card. Like, uh, what am I going to do? So my parents are like, you put it <laughs> on the side. No, honestly, they're like, use it for emergency purposes only. No problem. Well, the emergency was I needed Legend of Zelda before they stopped printing the, the gold carts. And oh, that yeah. was the very, not only the kind of the first game I remember I have to have right now, it's also the very first thing I've ever purchased with a credit card. And man, did that set me in a horrible, horrible sp- tailspin into, uh, obscurity as far as credit cards are concerned but be that as it may that zelda game yeah that i remember I'm like it's an emergency gotta go <laughs> well you know i mean yeah i mean when you're 18 and you're getting a credit card it's like what else are you gonna buy i'm still trying to figure out how i got pre-proof for that car because i didn't fill anything out but oh well. beats the hell out of me but um <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna say it just made me think of another story which relates to my w well it, it's not that it relates to my wwf raw story but i i pulled a similar 
uh, scheme. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> is this the Wiz? It was what? Is this with the Wiz? Yeah, is this with the Wiz? I, no, I was the there with you. We were there. Were, were you with me for the N sixty four? Yes, yes. Because it was a few of us. Because I remember it was me. Someone was driving the getaway car, and um, it was you and I, it was someone else. But my mom was there. Oh, you no, sure this is a different story? story. Nope, different story. Then all right, never no, mind. Different story. No, we'll no, we'll talk no, about the Wiz the N- one next time. No, the N sixty the N sixty four came out. I think it was like September nineteenth or something like. That. It came out mm-hmm. a, a month before my birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, my 18th birthday. So at this point, it's like, all right, I'm going to be 18. It's like normal people turning 18 have other aspirations in terms of what they, you know, what they want to do when they turn 18. <laughs> I wanted the N64. Makes okay? sense to me. Right. It makes sense to me, too. I go, the only problem is the N64 came out a month before my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so, and of course, at this point, I mean, I had only been working like little cheesy part-time jobs, so I wasn't really making much money yet. So, um, I went to mom. <laughs> bank of mom. Bank bank of mom. Yes, bank of mom. That, when they existed. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I told her, I said, this is what I want for my 18th birthday. And I know my 18th birthday is a month away. I'm like, but this is coming out now and it's going to be sold out. So, if I don't get it today, I'm not going to get it and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it that way. Now, but now, I didn't now. See, I, I want it now. I just explained it to her and, you know, and then after going back and forth with her because she was arguing with me, she's like, your birthday's a month away. I'm not buying you something now. And I'm like, no, I don't want anything on my actual birthday. I said, <laughs> get me this. I will play it on my birthday. Trust me. <laughs> so, then <laughs> I... I wore her down like you know, like a good son does, As and uh, we went to we went to the Wiz and we stood in line because again it was the first day, and you know back then systems when they came out the first day you had to stand in line for them, so we stood in line, got in the store. I wonder if it was, was it Toys R Us was I think it was the Wiz, um, got in the store, got my N sixty four, got my Mario sixty four, and then the only uh, there were there were only. Four games that came out that day. Just about. There were yeah. there were four. So I'm I so I got my N64 and then I'm staring at Pilot Wings because I'm like, well, I go Mario's going to be fun, but I need to have a choice, right? <laughs> exactly. So, really, you can't just have one game. You have to have at least so have two. To, yeah, you have to have options. Yep. So then, uh, I mean, even the original NES came with a Mario, Super Mario, and Duck Hunt cartridge, so you yep. had a choice of two games. But so then I'm staring <laughs> at Pilot Wings and then I grab that and I'm like. Give me that one too. And she, she, at that point, she 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 just did, she just wanted to get out of the store. So I walked out with an N sixty four and two games nice. a month before my birthday. Nice. And I've been a well, I was a loser before that, but that what? really cemented <laughs> that really cemented my legacy as a loser. <laughs> so um, I got a good one here. As far as sometimes it's worth the wait, and and it, it, it's a little it's a console, but it's we're jumping up. I'm gonna break the wall here and talk about PS3 just for this one time. Um, uh, That's against the rules. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. That's what I do. I break all the rules. Gosh darn it. Um, PS3 came out, uh, but it was like a month. It was like a month. I didn't buy it day of. I did not. But it's been out for a month. I remember I was getting out of work, uh, heading over to it was a GameStop. So this is not that long ago, and I'm leaving my actual job to go to GameStop just to look at video games, see what's available. <laughs> And of course, they had the um, the PS3, and of course, the biggest seller besides just the fact it was a PS3, what it was one of the first Blu-ray players as well. So right. with me, I'm like, oh, I want you know better movies, better quality movies, all this stuff. So, and I probably went like almost every day for a week. I kept going there, and I'm like, uh, and it was like six or seven hundred dollars. The PS3 was expensive when it came out. Yeah, I remember that like being way, almost like Neo Geo expensive. Well, you also got to remember though, back then Blu-rays were running that price. Exactly, so you were getting a video game system and a Blu-ray for the price of a that's Blu-ray all. Because remember, Blu-rays were like thirty-five dollars for a new release. Yeah. You know, now they're like twenty, but still. Um. So anyway, so I went like day, day and finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm pulling the trigger on this one. I'm gonna buy it. Let me buy it. I buy the PS3, like that first run, that that fat, the the chubby PS3, you know, that ugly looking yeah. one. And then I kid you not, literally, like the next morning, I wake up and I'm like, they're like, oh, PS3 is being like slashed in half, price wise. <laughs> If I would have waited one more day, and it's not like I could have gone back because they weren't honoring any sales because at that point, because I'd already bought the system and I already opened the box. But um, 
literally not even a full 24 hours. I'll dare say 12 hours later, the damn thing cut in price. Maybe not by half, but enough that would have warrant a normal price for the system. Oh, I was Yeah, I, I remember you telling me that story, and I distinctly remember laughing at you. Oh, God. Well, that's because my timing is, as usual, is always impeccable. Well, that um, happened. That that actually happened to me with the Xbox One. I bought it, and uh, uh, I think it was a week later it dropped by like fifty or sixty bucks. Now, here's an interesting thing with the 3DS. Yeah, I think it was the three the 3DS. Um, like they dropped the price on the three. Nintendo dropped the price on the 3DS like real quick. I forgot how long it was, but it was real quick. And I got the 3DS day of. But what Nintendo did was anyone who had already owned a, P- uh, a 3DS, they gave us like 10 free NES virtual console games, 10 free Game Boy Advance virtual console games. And the virtual console like wasn't even released yet. Or at least these games weren't really... It was just for the people who yeah, bought I the remember, NES. I remember so, you telling me this. Yeah, yeah. Nintendo did right. Place, uh, Sony did not, but I still own a Sony PlayStation, so it doesn't matter. Well, there you <laughs> go. See, I, I, stopped, I stopped at the PS2. I never went beyond it. So um, Because once... Once once we moved on to the next gen consoles and uh I went with uh, I stuck with Microsoft because they were backwards compatible and Sony was not. Well they were backwards compatible for a little while. <laughs> well no, up to the PS two. It was yeah. you know, PS one and PS two played well, together, but I don't mean to cut you off. PS three, the original first run PS three were backwards compatible for PS one and PS two. That is ah. true. Not for every game. But for majority of the games, it wasn't ah. until the later PS3 models that's when they stopped the backwards compatibility. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Well, anyway, we shouldn't be talking about those consoles. <laughs> well, uh, PS1, PS2, but uh, yeah, yeah. As far as like to... pre-orders and stuff, yeah, I was trying to think of other ones, and I remember like when I used to work at the video store mm, yes. when I was like eighteen, nineteen, when I was actually finally making a little bit of money on my own, <laughs> making um, dough. I, and, but the cool thing about working at the video store was that I had the opportunity to get it. Uh, get a hold of games, you know, day of or even early, um, like a week early, mm-hmm. um, without having to go reserve it at a store or wait in line for it. I would just tell my boss, you know, can you order me this game? Mm-hmm. And she'd be like, sure. And I, and I paid, I paid regular price for it, whatever it was. There was no extra charge or anything like that. Well, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, because if you remember back in the, you know, back back in the day when they were video stores. Um, <laughs> When they would get movies, um, you know, you know, VHS tapes in a store, you would buy them for twenty bucks or whatever it was. But back then, um, movies, video stores would get movies months in advance before they were available for sale. So they would pay like, you know, a couple, a few hundred dollars for a VHS film. Um, because they got exclusive rights to it before it went on sale to the public. So they had like X amount of months to make that money back before it was available for sale. Yeah, right. Um, you know, video games were never like that. Video games, when they came out, they came out in store, you know, in video stores for rent the same time you were able to buy them. So, like, I never, you know, at least for the little time that I worked there um, and some time afterwards, I mean, because, you know, I was still friends with the, the owner. Um, you know, I would just go to her and say, here, can you order this for me? You know, and I would just get what I want. I remember, I think one of the first ones I ordered was a uh, W again, wrestling related, of course, cause a huge <laughs> wrestling fan in the nineties, um, WCW versus the world. Ah, yes. Good game. Well, yeah, I, I ordered that through the video. So, well, good game at the time because yeah. <laughs> for, the, for the first time ever, um, there was a, uh, there was a game that came out that had, uh, first off it was, you know, 32, 32 bit graphics, mm-hmm. um, it was the 3D polygon wrestlers, and you had like 60 wrestlers in that game or, or something like well, that. Well, that was also WCW. Not to get into it, but the popularity of WCW was on the rise at that point. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the fact that you were able to pace, place as so many characters, because you, know, you got to remember the game, the, the hottest game that came before that was you know like WWF Raw on Super Nintendo, and you had 12 playable characters. Now you're jumping from 12 to let's say even it wasn't 60 it was like 50 i mean 12 to 50 it was huge you know and it, it took wwe or wwf at the time until i think 99 no before mercy. they had a game yeah uh, uh, well wrestlemania the, uh i was thinking attitude WWE oh had. um i don't think there's that many characters in attitude no attitude had i think like 40 no 
No, Jonathan. no, because remember it also had all the um the video. Not attitude. Not attitude. The second one. Warzone. No, war, no. Warzone was the one that had twelve, and then attitude was the one that I think that had forty. All right, we'll, have to, we'll have to fact check that one, but continue. But um, but I hear what you're talking about. It was yes, yeah, you're right. It was the a, first yeah, it was one. Just that whole, it, yeah, yeah, but yeah, WCW vs. the World was like the first one that I had to get my hands on, and I remember pre you know pre ordering that through the video store so I can get it. That's cool. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, beyond that, after that, um, you're right. It was kind of you, you kind of mentioned it before. You know, early it got on easier with the internet. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Like early on with Nintendo Super Nintendo, there really was not pre ordering. Um, and then there was a like in between the no pre ordering versus the internet. There is a there was that short time frame of pre ordering in store. It probably wasn't long. Maybe only a couple of years, which in the grand scheme of things wasn't that long. Right. But internet, yeah, internet. I mean, you know, I'm I'm constantly even today pre ordering something, and then canceling it, and maybe pre ordering it again, yep. canceling it. So uh, internet definitely yep. kind of. But then but you people- also. But- but then you also come up with these whole things like um, Nintendo right now doing the NES Classic. It's yeah, like there was, it, there was no pre-order for that. It was like limited quantity and you had to be online to buy it day of. So this was like an instant like throwback to um, you know those days when you had to be in line at a store to make sure that you got what you wanted. Like midnight release that they still do nowadays, but still it's kind of yep. not the same thing. Um, real quick, to bring it back to the NES Classic, um, did you call – the uh, the NES hotline while it was open this past weekend? No, I completely forgot. I called it. I couldn't record it because I didn't know how. How was it? Was uh, it was okay? Um, it, I was waiting for like a very eighties nostalgia throwback, but it was it was pre recorded. Um, there was like a three minute advertisement for the NES Classic Edition before I even got to select a choice for a game, and I think I did. Um, uh, I may have selected like Punch Out or something. And it was just almost like, you know, like, here's the code to get to Mr. Dream. I'm like, oh, really? Come on. <laughs> then I think he gave me well, code and stuff. But it, it was interesting. It was it was an interesting phone number to call. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, that's got to be a nice little, you know, trip down memory lane just to, you know, call that hotline for help. Of course, you know, nowadays they don't they didn't charge you, you know, three dollars a minute or whatever it was. <laughs> yep. No, totally. Yeah. But uh, that, yeah, I mean, it's you know, you got. You always have to hand it to Nintendo. Like they, like when they do something, they they know how to do it right. As much as we're frustrated about the fact that we don't, we we did not get our hands on the NES Classic yet. I mean, you got to you got to hand it to them. Like what they're doing right now is actually pretty clever because they're creating demand for a system that is over thirty years old and games that have been out on the market numerous times over on Virtual Console or on original cartridge. So. Um, you know they're playing their hand really well, and let's I face think. and no well and let's face facts. We're all still trying to get an NES Classic Edition, and we're all going to be very happy once we do get our hands on an NES right. Classic Edition. Exactly, and then what we'll do is we'll play it for two days, and we'll realize, oh yeah, we have all these. <laughs> Honestly, it's going to be like the sixth or seventh time some of these games I'll be purchasing already. So, yeah, exactly. For me, just like second or third. <laughs> That's what the console is <laughs> for me. So, but. With that being said, I think uh, we may start to call it here. I I think uh, it's a good time to call, and then you know, uh, our hunt for the NES Classic continues. (laughs) Well, I'm sure I'm sure we'll be updating everybody week by week. Um, We we didn't talk about a usual shtick, which would be um, I'm I'm still on hold with Shining Force Two until I can do that live. That live Facebook feed. Uh, Larry still loves Virtual Boy, um, much <laughs> to do. my chagrin and chagrin wait, of the rest of the world. I'm waiting for the system. Virtual Boy Classic Edition, <laughs> the mini yeah, Virtual Boy. You know, I, y- you know what? I, d- I don't think that's happening. <laughs> well, you never know because they'll be able to fit the entire library onto the entire onto the. Uh, I know all, all six games, and 16. then of course we're waiting, we're waiting for you to eagerly begin um, Castlevania Two: Simon's Quest. Well, depending on how long it's going to take to get an NES Classic Edition, I may just drop the five bucks, download it, and maybe stop playing it. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, and you know, you should have when you called the hotline, you should have asked them for tips. You're going to need them. <laughs> God knows I will. And with that being said, let's get ready to start to wrap this up. If you found a mini NES, if you're playing it, and your name's not Harry. You've already posted photos. Put them up on the Facebook page. Uh, with that being said, thank you for joining us for another rousing episode, and um, we'll catch you later. Later. Later.